Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Um, I wanted to quickly show you the finished product for this tutorial first so you can quickly tell if this will be for you or not. Um, what I'm going to do in this tutorial today is teach you how to build your own Amazon storefront just like what you're looking at now with the caveat that number one, you're not yet qualified to be an Amazon influencer which is the situation I found myself in. I wanted to build one. I thought anybody could be an influencer. It turns out I was wrong. You have to have like a big following. You have to get qualified and approved. So I couldn't get the regular storefront that Amazon offers. So I found myself in a predicament of, do I wanna spend money with like getting my own domain, getting a WordPress account, building a blog? So I took a shortcut and I did what you're looking at here, which was completely free, 100% free, no gimmicks, um, and it's very, very simple. I'll walk you through it. So let me just take you on a little tour here. I tried to make it look very similar to the normal Amazon storefronts from Amazon. So we have, you know, four sections for the types of products that I'm recommending. You click on one, it takes you to a web page for that category, and it's got all your products here. And you click on one and you can go to the Amazon page. So yeah, it's a really, really simple, easy way to get this done without, like I said, without having to spend money on WordPress, on Squarespace, any of that stuff, um, completely free. So if you feel like this is what you're looking for, then keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to build an Amazon storefront if you are not an Amazon influencer. So just for a really quick um, breakdown of what this is about and who it's for, um, there are two different types of ways you can earn money uh, by recommending Amazon products. You can either be an Amazon affiliate or an Amazon influencer. Now an Amazon affiliate, I believe anybody can do. You just register and then on your blog or on like the descriptions of your YouTube channel, you can put links that are directly correlated with your account um, to products that you recommend. And if somebody clicks on that link, in like a YouTube video, for instance, if they click on that link and they end up purchasing that product, you can earn a small commission from that. Now, that's the Amazon, Amazon affiliate program. What is the Amazon influencer program? So I have an example here of somebody who is an Amazon influencer. This is my good Judy Peter Mann. I love him. Um, this is his Amazon influencer storefront. So you can see it, it looks like his own little personal store, right? He has all these categories of things that he's recommending. You can see pictures. It looks like an actual store. Most people want this over the affiliate links because of the visual aspects alone. It looks nice and clean. It's a more visually aesthetic way to recommend products. The only downfall of this is that to become an Amazon influencer, there are a lot of requirements for that. Not just anybody can do that. So. What do you do if you want to have some sort of visual storefront like this for products you want to recommend and earn commissions from, but you're not yet qualified to be an influencer? What do you do? That's where my tutorial comes in. What I want to do today is teach you a free way to make an Amazon storefront. I'm going to use something called a Google site. Google sites, um, they're completely free. It is your own website that you can make and customize. The reason I'm opting for a Google site is because it's a free solution. So if you search, um, like if you Google how to create an Amazon storefront without being an influencer, you're gonna get a lot of recommendations for things like, oh, just use WordPress or like Squarespace or whatever, but those aren't free, obviously. You have to buy a website. So the reason I'm doing this route is because it's free. That's why. So what I'm going to do to get started is I'm going to teach you very quickly how to create a Google site. It's very, very easy. Um, so I'm just going to go to this Google homepage here and on these on the square up here with the nine dots I'm going to click that and I'm just going to look for the Google site product. It's not here. So I'm going to click more from Google and I believe Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Google sites. I'm going to click that. Okay. And you want to make sure you're logged into your Google account that you want to be affiliated with your Amazon storefront. So I have a Google account created specifically for my YouTube stuff, for my Amazon stuff. So it's just all separate and I'm logged into that account. Okay, so we see this view here. Uh, it says you can create your own site, you can do it from scratch or you can use a template that they offer. I'm just going to click on blank for now. You can feel free to browse the templates and see if something visually looks like what you want. I just personally wanna start from scratch. So I'm going to click blank and you will 
see a screen like this, it's just, this is one web page of your website. So what I'm gonna do is they want a site name. I'm gonna put Brittany's Amazon storefront. I'm going to copy that and just put it here. We can change fonts and stuff later. Um, so we're gonna want sections. Let me show you this. This is a list I started of some Amazon, oops, I spelled that wrong. This is a list of links I've already created with my um, affiliate account. Again, that's different from the influencer. I'm not an influencer yet. So these are just the affiliate links that I have so far. And I have them under four sections. So what I know I'm going to want to do if I wanna replicate this is I need to create four basically little boxes to serve as buttons for my section. So I'll have one square that says, what was it? Tech stuff, another square that says computer build, another that says sewing, and another that says sustainab sustainability. So to create one of those squares, um, I actually see over here we have a canned content block that already has four squares for me. So you can click that, and if you need to add more, you can just keep clicking on that. If you want it to look a little different, you can, um, you can do like this kind of format where you have more room to put text. I'm just gonna go with this and it's going to want a picture and some text. I don't have pictures yet. So what I'm gonna do is go to my friend Unsplash. Unsplash, if you're not aware, is a website where you can use any of the photos on here for free. There's no like royalty stuff or licensing you need to worry about. So for tech, what kind of picture do I want? Let me just type technology. Mm, how about I search drawing tablet? I think I'm gonna go with this one. I like this, I think it's eye-catching. So I'm going to download this. And then I will go back to my site. I'm going to click the little plus sign. This is um, asking me for a photo now. You can upload it from your computer. You can select one from Google, from, from your drive, whatever. I'm gonna just click upload, go to my downloads and select that image. And I will just type tech. So I need to do one for sewing. I'll just go with this. Download and upload the photo. Okay, and type sewing. Another one I have is sustainability. So I will just type sustainability. I think I like this picture the most. Download, upload, and type sustainability. And then the last one was computer build. So let me do computer build. Mm. PC. Oh, that's a good picture because my computer's white too. <laughs> okay, upload. Here we go. Computer build. Okay, so we have our four sections now and these buttons right now, they don't know that you want it to be a button. So if I were to click this, in fact, let me show you the preview. To preview your site while you're building it, you can click on this guy up here. So if I preview this and I click these, nothing happens, right? So we have to instruct this what to do. So I'm going to create four pages by clicking to this pages um, text. I will click new page um, and I will put tech and I will put sustainability and I will put sewing and I will put computer build. Okay. So I'm going back to the home page now that I have those. So I'm going to click on this. Um, what is it? How do you? Okay. So you, you don't do a double click. This is strange. You don't do a double click. You click it twice. So click it once and click it twice. Okay. Once you see this, you're going to see this little insert link button. Click that. Now it's the UI is not very clear. Click on this empty link field. Just click that and your pages that you just built will appear. So I'm just going to click tech because I'm going to watch this tech button to go to the tech page. The page is the one that will have all the tech products. 
So I'm going to click link tech and apply. And I will do the same for the other ones. Okay, so I've linked all the pages to these buttons. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm actually gonna test it first. I'm gonna click preview. So now when you click preview, this is what people will see, right? This is your website. I'm going to click tech. And okay, we went to the tech page. So let's exit out of the preview. One thing I also wanna do is I've noticed when I created these pages, it, um, it put them up at the top here as a navigation bar. And I'm not sure I like that, so let me, ah, okay. So I clicked this cog over here, the settings cog, and for navigation, I think I want side. Yeah, I'm gonna do side, and I'll just leave it like that for now. So now when people click this, the pages will appear there. I like that better. So to start adding these products in, this might be a rather tedious effort at first when you're first building this, but once it's built and you just want to add like a product every week or so, it won't be that big of a deal. Now, if you know front end development, you're going to cringe at what I'm about to show you. <laughs> so just um, try to keep in mind that I'm trying to cater this to anybody. Like I, I don't want you to feel like you have to know how to code. I want anybody to feel like they can do this just by following these instructions. So now that the, the now that that disclaimer is out of the way, let's go ahead and start adding these products. So how do we do that? Okay. so. Um, here's the first product that I want to put in my tech section, the tech page that we just created. So I'm going to go to that URL and here it is. You want to make sure that you're logged into your Amazon account that is affiliated with this affiliate program. So if you don't see this stuff at the top here, you know, the text image, text image, all that stuff. If you don't see it, you're not going to be able to do this. So make sure you're logged in and you're set up and registered with the affiliate program. Okay. So once you're on the page of a program or a product that you want to recommend, what you're going to do is you're going to click up on the top left here. You're going to click text and image. And right now we see a thumbnail preview of what this will look like once we put it on a website. So what's going on here is it just generated some computer code for you to be able to kind of build a website and make it look like a store for lack of better words. So what you need to do is, um, copy all this code at the bottom here. You see it says copy the generated HTML and paste it into the code for your website. So we're going to copy all this. And now what I want you to do is I want you to go to HTML edit dot square free dot com. Now what this does, this is a website that allows you to paste snippets of code in here and get a real like real time live preview of what that will look like on a website. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to like you can see what's going on here. This is computer code and it's showing you down here at the bottom what it would look like as a website. OK, so we have code on the top. We have website on the bottom. So we're going to delete the code that they have. This is just a preview to show you how their website works. We're going to delete that. And I'm going to press control V and paste the Amazon code. You can see here, this is what, if we put this code in a website, it will look like this at the end of the day. We have a problem though. It doesn't have a very good title. Like it's hard to tell just from this alone that this is a drawing tablet that I'm recommending. So bear with me now. We're going to add to this code here and I will tell you exactly what to add to make sure this works. It's not going to be a lot, I promise. So what I want you to do is right at the beginning of this code, press enter so we can get a fresh line at the top. And I want you to copy this here. So we have the little bracket, or I don't know what that's called. Alligator, alligator mouth. <laughs> P space align equals open quote, center, close quote, close alligator mouth. Okay. And at the very bottom of your code, start a new line, do your alligator mouth slash P close your alligator mouth. Okay. That's step one. Step two, we're going to add some text to have a title here. I want it to say drawing tablet somewhere. So what we're going to do is right below that last line you just added, I want you to paste this. Okay. 
And after that part, you put what you want the text to be. So I have drawing tablet in all caps here. So you can see at the bottom what it looks like now. So it'll look kind of similar to what's going on here. It's got a picture and then it will have text. That's what we want. I hope you understood what just happened there. We couldn't just use the text or the code that came straight from Amazon. So since the, the code provided by Amazon did not have the formatting and the title we wanted, we added that manually. It doesn't take too many steps. So this is your complete code now, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna press Control A that selects everything, all your code, press Control C, that copies it. We're gonna go back to my store and you're gonna see the magic, okay? So what I'm gonna do is click over here on the right. Over here on the right, you're gonna click embed, okay? So you have two options. It says by URL and embed code. We have code, we don't have a URL. So what we're gonna do is click embed code. You can see it says paste the HTML code that you wanna provide. So I'm gonna type Control V, and there's all the code we have. Click Next, and here's a little preview of what it's gonna look like. Now we're gonna click Insert, and we can resize this a little bit, just to position it where we want. And we just made our first product. So I'm going to preview this and check if that button works. Ooh, I don't like that. Give me one sec, let's see if we can figure this out. I think I know what to do. Maybe if I make it a little bigger, it won't do that. Okay, so don't make it too small, it'll make that little scroll bar. Today I learned. Okay, so let's test if this works. I'm going to click this, and there's my affiliate link. It works. So yes, it will be rather arduous when you are first building the site, which I'm gonna have to spend a couple hours doing this, um, you're gonna have to do that process for every single product. Now, now that you have this like skeleton built, um, you can just change the part that has the iframe stuff, which is right here, that, the Amazon code. You just change that every time and you also change the title. So I'll show you again for the next one. My next product is this guy here, a camera. So I'm again gonna go to the top left Click text and image. I'm going to copy all that code. I'm gonna go back to my live editor and I'm just gonna replace the Amazon code from the previous product with this new one. You can see the image just changed and it's not a drawing tablet this time. It is a camera. I'll just put camera and I'll put mirrorless. I don't need to put that, I'll just put camera. Okay, again, I'm gonna copy all that code, go back to my store, I'm gonna exit this preview, I'm gonna click embed again, embed code, paste my code, click next, looks great, click insert, and you can drag this wherever you want, okay? I'm gonna make it a similar size to the other one, and let's preview, make sure it works, there we go. So you're just gonna have to do that for all your affiliate links. And right now, this is just like the canned visual aesthetics that Google Sites provides. So we can um, change the fonts, change the pictures. Um, like I can go to my homepage, let's go to the homepage. Maybe I can put a banner image, okay? Which means I'll have to put this somewhere else. So let's delete that. Let's insert a text box and I'll put this. Do I like that font? We can, what do I want? Kind of like Playfair. Playfair, oh my God, oh my God. Playfair, extra bold. Hey, I like that, okay. So I have, I just put my thumbnail or my channel art from my YouTube channel up at the top. I feel like there's a filter on it. Ah, there was, okay. I don't know what that was. Okay, um, and then I added a text box that says Brittany's Amazon storefront. And then I can add another one under that. And it can say something like, welcome to my store, my Amazon storefront. I only recommend products that I have tested for a while 
and can attest to their reliability and quality. No gimmicks, only the truth. Okay, then I can also make this font match. Let me make this a little bigger. Let's do 18. Let's center this. Mm, that's a little too big. 14. And something like that. Okay, so let me go to the pages now. Tech. And we can add an image here. I'm just going to select one that they have. Yeah, that looks fun. I want to do this in all caps. And I think I want to do this maybe in that same font. Oh my god, that's so annoying. Tech. Okay. So you get the gist. You can change how this looks visually. Um, I'm not going to sit on camera and do all this in front of you and bore you. But basically, I'm just going to keep repeating that process from now on. I'm going to take these links, get the code from Amazon, put it in my little skeleton I built here, change the title, and then put that in the website. And then once your website is all said and done, you have all your products here, you've tested it, you're going to have to publish it. So there's this button on the top right that says publish. Um, okay, this is just telling you the URL it's going to generate. So that's good to know. So like, if I want to paste this in the description boxes of all my YouTube videos, I would make sure to copy, if I can do it, copy this URL, put that in the description, and like say here, check out my Amazon storefront for products I recommend, something like that. So I'm going to click publish, okay, and where do I find that URL now? <laughs> View publish site. Okay, so go home. All right, so here's my site. I'm going to copy this. That's what I would put in the description box of my YouTube videos. I hope you get the gist of this. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, consider subscribing. I plan on making, you know, some more tutorials about tech and stuff. I know I want to get into like Google Data Studio. I think that's a great offering that not a lot of people know how to use. I think I want to get into that. Maybe some uh, spreadsheet tips. Or if you like sewing, lifestyle, and DIY content, hey, join the party. So uh, make sure to subscribe if you found this helpful. I also have a coffee tip jar. It's like a virtual tip jar. Um, I, I have the website in the description box of this video. If you found this helpful and you want to consider donating to the channel, I would appreciate it. it uh, the money would go straight back into the channel so I can keep creating tutorials like this um, if you feel so inclined. So I think that's it um, as far as housekeeping. I'm going to finish this website up and I will catch you guys later. Bye.